and this has been correlated with increased signs of age they perform better they feel less tired the fatigue levels go down by far but also something that comes out as brain fog stress I'm sure some people would be curious to know, but how safe is it for them to come in and do this at the wellness school? Like, I would never mix them together because I would never want your body to choose between the ingredients. Over a course of time, what are the positive health impacts and transformations that people can see? Who would be the kind of ideal or perfect candidate? Definitely. In fact, I'm actually glad that you brought this up. Hi everyone, welcome to the Wellness Blueprint. This is a series where we're going to be talking about wellness, making it more accessible and easier to understand for all of our wonderful viewers. So um, let's kickstart this series by talking about NAD+, and we have Dr. Garima joining us today, who's an expert on the subject. So over to you, Dr. Garima. Well, NAD stands for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, and this is basically a coenzyme that's present in all the cells of your body. However, uh, it's been found that over a period of time or along the years, NAD+, starts reducing. And this has been correlated with increased signs of aging. And I don't just mean physical or something that is appearance based, but also something that comes out as brain fog, stress or fatigue or hearing loss, vision loss, increased abdominal fat deposition or any kind of uh, metabolic disorder or slowing of your metabolism. So Dr. Garima, how does increasing NAD plus levels positively impact someone's health? Well, NAD is responsible for improve, improving your mitochondrial function and hence the way your cells produce energy. So when we increase the amount of NAD in the body, that would automatically help in making the cells heal themselves better, perform better and ultimately your body starts feeling better. And this would come out as different benefits in terms of physical as well as physiological health. Sure. So I think in our experience with taking NAD plus regularly and having this supplementation available to us in our daily lives, we have seen an increase in energy levels first and foremost. And I think that this is what most people tend to encounter when they first start the regimen. But over a course of time, over a long period of time, for example, what are the positive health impacts and transformations that people can see on their own bodies or on their own health? Well, when we are actually working with NAD, of course, as you rightly mentioned, the first thing people can compliment or um, appreciate about the changes is that there is an increase in the energy levels. They can work out for longer durations, they perform better, they feel less tired, the fatigue levels go down by far. But over a period of time, they can actually tell differences in the ways that they've been living, they've been waking up, they've been uh, eating food, their appetite changes, uh, the way some people also tell that you know their vision has gotten better. A lot of people tell that even the graying of the hair has almost reversed so there are different ways in which aging represents in different people and therefore NAD actually helps on multiple levels for all these populations. There is this perception around NAD plus that only older people generally over the age of 40 or 45 should be taking it. Is that true or are younger people also equally good candidates for NAD? Honestly, everybody is a great candidate for NED Plus because we all need it to optimize our health. Of course, when we are looking at people who've crossed 40, they're looking at NAD from a very longevity point of view. And that makes absolute sense because they need it for those purposes that their bodies can heal, they can start performing and feeling better. And that makes absolute sense. However, even when you're working with younger populations who are either into sports or any other thing, or if they've been working, dealing with any metabolic condition or any of those problems, problems, you'll see that NAD actually starts helping in those areas. It's not one of those things where you can just do one NAD IV and feel better, right? I'm, I believe it's obviously it has to be a course which is, has to be done over a sustained period of time. So in your experience with someone, let's say between the ages of 30 to 40 years old, how often should they do, be doing NAD and for how long in their lives, let's say in well into their 60s or 70s, should they, should they be doing NAD? All right. So the dosage of NAD would actually vary depending on what are the concerns more than the age of the person. We usually start somewhere with six sessions for a person and then we can gradually build it up to eight, 12, so on and so forth. But again, this is a supplementation regime. So it's not like one uh, session or just four sessions or six sessions are going to be enough. And this is something that you sort of start adopting in your lifestyle and you know that, okay, probably once a month or once in two months, I really would like to replay this reserve. So I think with the people who we have seen regularly coming in for NAD plus therapy on a kind of much more 
regularized basis, who have a regimen, for example, prescribed by one of our doctors, who have, let's say, one to two sessions happening weekly, even they do tend to come in with this misconception that uh, NAD is available over the counter as well. There are oral supplementation regimens available for NAD+, and even for, let's say, the NMN, for example, which is very common these days. So how would you say um, is the best way for someone to introduce NAD as a supplement into their daily routines? Whenever you're introducing a supplement, it really depends on whether you're working on a deficiency. When you're working with NAD, we're working with this mindset that, of course, it's already started to reduce in the system. And then the best way to replenish it would be through an IV therapy. The only reason I would feel that an oral supplement will not do justice is because it depends a lot on your gut health. Whether you are able to metabolize things, whether you're able to break them down, absorb them, assimilate them, a lot of these factors are actually going to influence whether you're going to benefit from the supplement or not. However, IV therapy bypasses that altogether and it puts things right into your bloodstream and that ensures that the results are more effective, efficient and of course quicker. Right, makes sense. So um, with NAD there's also this thought that um, obviously it is just an enzyme right that your body naturally produces and over time as you get older the body produces less and less of this enzyme which, reduce, which results into aging. Um, so I'm just curious with NAD when we do an IV let's say at the wellness score or where, wherever else it might be in the IV solution itself, is it just NAD that's going into the body or are there other vitamins and minerals that are also added to it? So NAD in itself is a very potent ingredient, which is why we prefer to only introduce NAD when we are giving an IV. And that ensures that your body is not absorbing anything else, but actually just focusing on that one prime ingredient that is there to introduce the whole effect of cellular regeneration and anti-aging. However, there are people who want to mix things with NAD and for them, I would always recommend that go with one entire bag of NAD plus in the IV and after that you can add other ingredients like glutathione, B complexes, vitamin C, so on and so forth. But it, I would never mix them together because I would never want your body to choose between the ingredients and I'd like it to just absorb NAD for what it is. Fair enough. Fair enough. And I think um, one more thing that I think people would be definitely curious about um, is to know if there are any side effects involved with NAD because if you are doing this let's say once a month or once every two months for a sustained period of time you don't want there to be any contraindications or any side effects that you're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. Correct. So, of course, there's going to be a thorough screening process wherein the doctors and the experts try to understand if there is anything that's contraindicated, heavy medications or any other underlying disorder, comorbidity that could affect the ingredient or the utilization of NAD will be uh, ruled out and they'll be taken into consideration. However, there are no certain side effects with NAD. And because this is something that's always present in the system and it is supposed to be there so that you can function better, it is a great IV to actually go for. I think when we look at the research which is coming out these days from the top neuroscientists and uh, let's say chemists and even pharmacologists all over the world, we are seeing a lot of positive information coming out about NAD plus overall. This is something which I think all doctors are kind of leaning on the side of agreeing more and more that if someone is suffering from a certain metabolic condition or even a health condition, even an illness or a disease, it's something which is a really positive impact on their treatment process and on the kind of entire post care and post recovery process as well. After going through some sort of injury or rehabilitation or accident or any of these things, the body needs NAD plus essentially to heal itself. So what I wanted to understand more is what is the timeline that someone is looking at? For example, if you have gone through a certain illness or sickness or disease, mm -hmm. if you start doing NAD plus IV therapy, how long until you start to see the positive benefits on your kind of daily health? You know, personally, I've seen that with people who've been dealing with any illness or chronic fatigue or something, they start seeing the benefits right after the first session because their body was so deficient that even a little amount of energy would bring about drastic changes in their health and fitness level. However, I would always recommend going for somewhere between four to six weeks per sessions to start understanding and appreciating the differences that have started occurring in your system. And then based on how you've started healing or feeling, we can always uh, modulate the amount of sessions that you're going forth with. Who would be the kind of ideal or perfect candidate if you were to say someone who is the kind of you know perfect picture of a person who really would benefit the most from an NAD plus intervention? 
I feel anybody who's looking at anti-aging or performance boosting, now this could be an athlete, it could be a person above 35 years, it could also be a person who had actually been recovering from a chronic illness, has been dealing with fatigue. So the entire range of conditions or problems that are actually solved by these two therapies are so vast that a lot of people would actually fit into, fit into this population group. Sure. And I think... Um because we're talking about IVs and it is um, a sort of invasive therapy, there is a needle involved. Um, I'm sure some people would be curious to know, but how safe is it for them to come in and do this at the wellness school? Like, are the, is the staff trained to do this? Are there nurses, doctors monitoring? How does that all work? So the doctors are always monitoring. We have registered nurses on the panels and they're very eligible for making sure that the prick is proper and the IVs are sterile, they're safe and it is administered in the most comfortable way possible. So nothing, so nothing more than a pinch then? Nothing more than a pinch. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. I think the vast majority of people nowadays especially have been having this kind of condition which doesn't really have a name where they wake up feeling a little bit tired yeah. they wake up feeling a little bit less than a hundred percent they go to sleep feeling tired so they're not getting that kind of rejuvenation in their daily lives which you know is a really important component of how to keep ourselves going for longer and feel like we are able to give our best on a daily basis right so i think from that lens when we look at nad plus it kind of is a cure-all when we don't like to say the word cure-all honestly but it is something which is very worthwhile as a first step to look at and of course um, I'm sure that you can talk a little bit more about the role of our diagnostic testing also as a process to identify different deficiencies that can also be handled at the same time. Of course. So uh, whenever a person actually walks in, there is a thorough consult. But with that, we actually we also work a lot with diagnostic tests. So different diagnostic tests. This could be something as simple as a blood test report or something like a genetic screening. And something that we actually often work with is an oligoscan report. This is something that gives you a great picture of the bioavailability of different minerals, vitamins or heavy metals that are present in your system. And once we have information about this, we can curate the best IV, we can work with the best approach of therapies or the best combination of both and it gives us a lot of information to start paving the avenue of biohacking or you know optimizing somebody's health. So diagnostics play a huge role whenever a person walks into the wellness core but then more importantly uh, the good thing is that we also have everything that we need to cater to different kinds of conditions, problems or concerns. Since today we're talking about NAD and we know how wonderful it is for anti-aging, I'm just curious as to what else they can do while they're at the center um, to sort of boost the effects of anti-aging. Uh, and I'm talking about different therapies that the Wellness Co may offer, which they can sort of add and supplement the NAD treatment itself. Well, given that NAD is something that's actually working on your cellular metabolism, it's helping, helping introducing more and more energy. Therapies that would go really well with that would be pulse electromagnetic field. This is something that starts treating all your cells like a battery. It starts, produce, the cells automatically start producing more energy. They have better permeability and that leads to better function. Red light therapy is a great addition because that uh, kickstarts your mitochondrial function. So if it's for the skin, then collagen synthesis. If it's for the muscle, then muscle building. If it is for the circulation, then improvement in circulation. And you'd see the benefit wherever it goes. And the last thing that will actually go really well with NAD is hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Oxygen being the unit of life when you're breathing 100% pure oxygen under a pressurized environment, it has its own effects of healing, anti-aging and cellular metabolism. And I think these four things go really well together. Uh, so one more thing, um, obviously at the Wellness Co, we talk a lot about this concept of oxygenation, hydration and circulation. Um, and today we've spoken a lot about NAD plus as well. So uh, just as to where that fits in into this sort of realm of oxygenation, hydration, circulation and what other things people can do to sort of boost all three of these aspects in their lives. All right. So when you're looking at NAD+, this is something that's boosting your circulation and hydration levels, of course. But because it is improving your cellular efficiency, it has a huge role to play the way your cells are burning or metabolizing the energy sources, which means that it also affects the way you can oxygenate your body. The way the cells are responding or receiving oxygen and then utilizing it automatically builds and starts improving. I think one aspect that we haven't spoken about today 
which is very much tied into the NAD plus therapy programs that we offer is the telomere biological aging analysis as well. Mm -hmm. So I think that is something which we can also do to help people identify what their biological age is looking like currently, whether their kind of chronological age is 45, but due to stresses and due to factors in their life which have contributed negatively to their health, they could have a biological age of 52. And how do we start to bring that down? We can introduce things like NAD+, we can introduce other types of IV minerals, and also recommend them the right therapy and longevity protocols that can help you to anti-age in a very evidence and results-based manner. Actually, that brings me to one more very important question. Um, obviously, we've spoken about NAD and different IVs um, on this podcast so far. But um, let's say a patient comes in and they have a very specific requirement. Are we able to customize these IVs and put specific ingredients into these IVs, which is tailor-made for this person and this individual? Absolutely. Absolutely. So whenever a person is coming and we realize that, okay, you know, these are the ingredients, or these are the minerals or vitamins that are actually lagging in their body, then we can definitely work with a customized approach wherein we're just putting those ingredients that are really needed by the system and give them sessions or dosages according to their requirements. And this is all, constru this is all constructed with the doctors? This is all constructed with the doctors. Uh, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. I think... Uh, People would also be curious to learn a little bit more about hyperbaric oxygen therapy and the role that it plays with IV drips because in my own experience, I think when I look back at the kind of testimonials and the kind of clients and patients that we have spoken to over the years since we started the Wellness Co., um, a lot of the people who have undergone IV drip and then hyperbaric oxygen, they have had the best results overall, right? Yeah. So uh, when we look at the kind of external factors and environmental factors that are also getting in the way of the natural healing process, I think that's something which would be very worth. Definitely. In fact, I'm actually glad that you brought this up because most people who take any IV therapy often are also taking hyperbaric oxygen therapy. And these two things work great in, combina in a combination because hyperbaric oxygen therapy Therapy is something that's utilizing all those nutrients, putting in more oxygen in the cells and now all of these cells have been given more oxygen and more nutrients, so hence more resources or ammo to start working or functioning better. So these two things actually go extremely well and people start seeing even the benefits of the IVs in sooner sessions. Sure. Yeah, I think uh, just as a kind of last takeaway from uh, what I feel regarding NAD plus and IV therapy as well is a lot of people, I think we touched on this earlier, are suffering with a lot of gut microbiome issues already. And I think India is a hotbed for gut disease as well. Most people are suffering from intolerances or allergies that they don't even know about. And a lot of these can show up in oral supplementation as well. Currently what's out there in the market, the testing protocols and the kind of rigorousness with which allergens are found within these supplements is not at the level where we can guarantee that the bio availability and the absorption of these minerals and vitamins is happening at anything even close to a 20 or 30 percent right so IV drip therapy overall from what we know from the research from the doctors who have studied this for years and have recommended it to the kind of top professionals celebrities athletes around the world the bioavailability goes above and beyond 95 96 97 yeah. percent and that is where we see the real change happening because someone can be on an oral supplementation regimen for four to six months and not see the kind of difference that just one session of nad plus iv therapy perfect i think thank you very much for that terrific insight into uh, nad and ivs and i think there was a lot to learn here today i myself have learned a lot and uh, i know i hope our viewers too <laughs>